I'm Richard, and I'm here with Novus Energy Technologies, uh, who are doing some energy harvesting techniques down at the ID Tech X show. And I'm here with Peter, who's hopefully going to talk about some of his technologies. So, Peter, can you tell us what you're doing? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, basically, we have a, a couple of different uh, energy harvesting technologies. Uh, number one, um, we have we actually developed uh, this material, which is. Um, Citric material, which is uh, different from the polycrystalline material, which is typically used in thermoelectrics. So this is higher efficiency material, and will provide higher uh, higher efficiency in both the thermoelectric uh, power generation and also for heat pumps. Okay, what kind of efficiency do you gather? So uh, for uh, for thermoelectric generation, we get uh, increase of efficiency from five to seven percent. So, so you have about a 2% increase in efficiency. And then we've also developed this um, large area module. So you can see the, the size of the conventional module, which is about 4 by 4 centimeters. And we've developed a 10 by 10 centimeter module, which um, basically can be used in large scale applications like uh, power plants and um, uh, uh, heat uh, other other areas of waste heat, industrial waste heat, where you have large amounts of waste heat that you want to uh, uh, take advantage of. We be really believe that uh, there, there are the thermal power plants, you know, like coal-based and oil uh, oil-based uh, power plants, and also um, also other other um, other applications such as uh, geothermal are very big, very big applications. Amazing. So, what kind of power output can you get out of it? What's well, the maximum? Um, so you've got 0.2.7 amps here. Well, no, that's uh, this is actually for the car seat cooler, but the power output for this this uh, small device will put out about 10 watts. Okay. And the large device will put out about 100 watts. Great. What would you use that to uh, in power plants? What would be the main application? So the application would be, for example, uh, flue gases could be collected using a heat exchanger um, and then uh, be uh, transmitted to the uh, to the thermoelectric device, and then the thermoelectric device would then convert that to electric power. And that so that would be one application. There's there's other areas in the power plant that could be used in, in uh, other areas. Um, that uh, that actually can be uh, utilized. Amazing. Okay, great. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, oh uh, so this is actually uh, uh, car, car seat cooler technology. This is based on uh, thermoelectric, uh, thermoelectric pumps that are pumping the heat uh, away from this heat spreader material. The heat spreader material is uh, it's basically a very high thermal conductivity material of 500 watts per meter Kelvin. And so basically what it does is the thermoelectric devices are remotely located, so they could be located under the seat. And um, the uh, heat spreader material then could be wrapped to the top of the seat. The person sitting on the seat would only sit on the, thermal, on the uh, heat spreader material. And the heat spreader material would conduct the heat either to the person or away from the person. And you feel this is cold here, this is hot here. And that's based on the thermoelectrics in just the four corners of this. This car so that's, uh, and we also have a uh, cooling vest technology. Um, so the cooling vest is a, um, uh, is a, a technology that uses a liquid cooling, a liquid cooling vest, and the thermoelectric either heats or cools the uh, liquid in the vest, providing uh, thermal comfort to the person who who may be working in a hot or cold climate, uh, first responders, soldiers, you know, that have to wear protective uh, gear, um, and other uh, other people that are in hot or cold environments. Amazing. And what stage are you at with that? Is that a prototype or is it out there? No, it's a prototype. All this, uh, all these things are prototypes. So right now we're in the process of looking for uh, investor uh, investors that may be interested in this technology. So. Amazing. Oh, well, best of luck with it. It sounds yeah. like a great project. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Uh, we've been really happy with ID TechX. Uh, you guys have treated us really well. and. Uh, uh, we're really looking forward to continuing the relationship with you guys, and um, really, uh, it's been fantastic. It's been a fantastic experience. We've really, 
really appreciate uh, all the work uh, that you guys have done in, in putting this play, uh, putting this together. It's a really top-notch operation. Really, really appreciate it. Great. Oh, well, thank you very much.